Starting with the scene we finished with in the previous tutorial, uh, we see the view from the camera here of our city. We're now going to set things up so that we can easily navigate and view our city. The camera at the moment, you'll see the camera is really pointing down to one corner of the city, which is why we saw that particular view from the camera. We've placed our 3D cursor, that's the um, circular thing with the crosshairs, the target, at the top of a building near the centre of our city at the moment. What we're going to do now, with the, um, with the camera uh, over in this corner, leave it in that corner, that's fine. We want the camera to actually be pointing towards uh, this area here. We're going to add, press the space bar, add an empty. And I've actually made a mistake here, because, ah, uh, yes. I raise it by pressing the delete key because I didn't have this view set directly on top the axes of that empty were not aligned perpendicular that is aligned with the mesh which might have caused a problem so I've deleted it made a mistake deleted it and you can see the axes there are diagonal with the mesh which is what we want now the empty doesn't render in our scene it's just an object that we can use like any other object for various things including what we're going to do today on, or rather on this tutorial which is to track if I change this to wireframe view you can see that empty better a lot of work you will do in wireframe view it's handy to have the 3d view to get an idea of how the object looks in 3d now the camera is going to get its tracking that is its rotation and tracking information from the empty so what we're going to have to do, oh, let me just put that back to top view because I moved it by accident. What we're going to have to do is clear the rotation. Each object holds memory of how it's been rotated. You do that by doing uh, Alt and R. If you hold down the Alt key, press the R key, you get a confirm prompt there, clear rotation. Watch the camera. See the camera now is pointed straight down. It's, it's cleared the rotation information from the camera because we want the information of rotation to come from the empty. So with the camera selected, hold down shift, right click to select the empty. So we've started with the camera, that's our object that's going to be tracked to. Now we hold down control and press T and get this option. We choose old track on the make track. Did you notice there the camera suddenly shot round and pointed itself at the empty? Which is exactly what we want. What we'll do now is we can um, confirm that that's actually doing. If we just um, click again on the reselect the camera and, and G for grab and drag that around you'll see it rotates it may not be obvious straight away but we'll show in another view in a moment you'll see the effect that this has it actually is keeping itself pointed directly at that empty very useful see how the camera view has changed if I change this to the solid view now you can't see it because of the size of this viewport I'll show in a moment but as I drag the camera around that's pretty cool we've got it constantly pointing at that building that we selected with our 3D cursor where the empty which you can see in this view although it won't show in a render you can see that it's constantly pointing and keeping that empty in the center of its view don't forget and we can also move the empty around so if you're doing an animation you can track the camera around it'll always point at the empty but you can move the empty at the same time and get some really quite spectacular fly-through effects which we will be uh, touching on later on. Just to confirm that that's what I was doing, moving this camera around, you can see that it keeps pointing towards the center. So no matter how you rotate that camera, drag it up and down in the side view even, changing its height, changing its altitude if you like, um, it'll always point towards that, um, that empty. Very, very useful way of uh, um, viewing objects. In the next tutorial, we'll light our city.